Welcome back to AlgoJS. Today we're going to be looking at Cadane's algorithm. So we have an input array and we want to work out the maximum subarray. Now a subarray is just a contiguous sequence within this array. And by that, I mean, this can be considered a subarray. This can be considered a subarray. This can be considered a subarray. However, something like this cannot be considered a subarray because it is no longer contiguous because we are missing this piece right here. So we want to work out the maximum possible subarray that we can create from this. And if we had, say, just a number of positive integers, it would be quite easy to work out the maximum subarray. You just add up all the values together because none of these are going to be decremented in the count in any way, shape or form. So the trouble comes when we have negatives within our array. So what Cadane's algorithm uses is dynamic programming. Now I'll briefly touch on what dynamic programming is. It's an approach to solving problems where you utilize solutions to sub problems in order to solve the rest of the problems. So we'll break down this array into a number of sub problems and we'll do that iteratively. Okay, so we're gonna be using a bottom up approach and a sub problem will consist of every element within this array. So we're gonna have a separate sub problem for each of these. Now. With this iterative approach, this right here is going to take O n space. However, Cadane's solution will be consistent of O one space. So I'm just using this to help visualize the solution here. We'll optimize it afterwards. And then in order to start off this DP iterative solution, we need to work out a base case. And our base right here is going to be the starting point. So we need to have the solution to the initial subproblem. So if we look here at minus two, what is the maximum subarray we can create at minus two? Well, it's minus two. So for the base, we can choose maximum subarray at position zero. And then we can use this solution to this subproblem in order to work out every other solution. So let's move over to one. At position one, what is the maximum solution we can take? Well, we can either take the solution to the previous subproblem plus this value right here, or we can just take this value. So it can be minus two plus one, which is minus one or one. So we take the largest, so we take one. Then we move on to the next value. We have minus three. We can take the previous value in this DP array plus minus three, which is going to be minus two, or we can take minus three itself. So we're gonna take the largest, which is minus two. So as you can see, we are creating some kind of formula here, and this is called the optimal substructure. So DP at I, is going to be equal to the maximum between the current value we're on. So we'll call it max sub at i plus the previous value. So plus dp i minus one or just the maximum sub value on its own. So this is the optimal substructure to this dynamic solution. So let's carry on. So we're at four. We can choose four plus minus two. So plus the previous value, or we can choose four by itself. So we're gonna choose four. Next, we have minus one. So minus one plus four is three, or we can choose minus one. So we're gonna choose three. At two, we're gonna choose five because two plus three is greater than two. One, one plus five is six, minus five. Well, minus five plus six is one. So we're gonna choose that over minus five. And then lastly, we have four. So we choose four plus the previous value, which is five. So the maximum subarray from this is six. However, with Caden's algorithm, like I mentioned at the start, we do not use this DP array. Because we are only using the solution to the previous subproblem, we're not using multiple previous subproblems, we can actually just update two values as we go along when looping through this array. So time complexity for this algorithm is going to be O of N, where N is the number of inputs within this maximum subarray and space is going to be O of one, constant space. Okay, so here we are in the code editor. I've created the function Cadane's algo. Firstly, we need to initialize. So current sum, which is going to be equal to maximum subarray at zero. So we're gonna grab the first value within the maximum subarray. Let max sum equal, and that will also be set as the first value within max subarray. And then we just loop through the values of that array. Start at position one, because we've already accounted for position zero. I is less than max subarray 
dot length brackets plus then rather than utilizing as we said in the solution a dp array what we're going to do is just update the current sum so current sum is going to be equal to math.max current sum plus maximum subarray at i or just the max subarray at position i so once we've updated that we can check to see whether the current value of current sum is greater than the current max sum so that would be math.max current sum max sum and then we can return max sum so the output we're looking for is six so if we console log contains algo passing in the input array we used in our example and now checking the console as you can see we've got the correct answer and that is Cadain's algorithm in a nutshell.